Hello, my little ones, and welcome back for another lesson. Today, we are going to talk about pets. As we read our first book today, I want you to be thinking about your pets. And in the first book that we read, um, when we get to that slide, um, it's about a pet dog who gets into a little bit of trouble because he's feeling a little lonely for his master who left and went to school. I want you to be thinking about, do you think your pets get lonely? Or what do your pets do when you're not there? Let's go ahead and get started with our lesson today. All right, and here is our opening slide, my little ones. This is called pets. Let's go ahead and spell that word. P-E-T-S. And what does that spell? Pets. That's right, it spells pets. All right, let's take a look at this first page. Here I see a little boy looking at his pet turtle. Do any of you have a pet turtle? I don't. I don't know if I would like a pet turtle. I think that that might be a little, a different kind of responsibility that I'm not so sure that I want. But for some, turtles make the perfect pet. And what makes a pet special? What makes a pet special to you? For me, both of my pets are like my children. They keep me company. We play with each other sometimes. Sometimes I have to get after them because they're being naughty. But it's nice to have a companion, somebody that's around, like a friend. That's what a companion is, and it's nice to have pets around for that. Pets also teach responsibility. That means you have to keep them clean, you have to feed them, you have to love for them and care for them. That's responsibility. Sometimes that's a big job. So let's go ahead and look at our first book. This is called Cool Dog School Dog. Sometimes pets miss us when we leave. This dog misses his little boy. He finds a way to follow the boy to school. Let's see what happens when he does. All right, cool dog, school dog. As you can see on the cover of our book here, we have a dog with glasses on. My dog does not wear glasses. He doesn't read either. <laughs> Let's see what this book is about. Oh, I should go back here. This is a story from the Wonders Reading Curriculum, and this is a story by Deborah Heigelman, and it was illustrated by Tim Bowers. Tinka is a fun dog, a sun dog, a run and run and run dog, a joy dog, a boy's dog, a choose a brand new toy dog, a sigh dog, a cry dog, a has to say goodbye dog. Tinka is a grown dog, a moan dog, a hates to be alone dog, a peak dog, a sneak dog, a sprint and sprint and streak dog. Tinka is a cool dog, a school dog. A breaking all the rules dog. A hall dog. A ball dog. A crash into the wall dog. A vroom dog. A boom dog. A messing up the room dog. Tinka is a bad dog, a sad dog, 
a makes our teacher mad dog. Ooh, look at that teacher. I bet you've never seen your teacher look like that before, have you? <laughs> I'm just kidding. A hey dog. A stay dog. A has to go away dog. What do you think the teacher is doing here? What kind of call might she be making and to who? A plead dog. A need dog. A come help us to read dog. Tinka is a sweet dog. A treat dog. A sitting in her seat dog. Oh, this must be um, Tinka's mom or the boy's mom. I guess that that's who the teacher called. A look dog, a nook dog, a loves to hear a book dog. A yay dog, hooray dog, a please come every day dog. All right, so in the end, even though this started off with a dog making some poor choices because he missed his boy and broke the rules and went to school. It all ended well, as things usually do. Do you have any pets in your school? Sometimes classrooms have pets to help teach kids responsibility. And in this book, and in some schools, we do have dogs in our school that we can read to, and talk to, and just pet, if we need to. So this was kind of a, a good book about a very good pet, in the end. <laughs> Tinka, who's a good dog. Alright, let's keep moving on here. We're going to take a look now at some words. So I want you to listen for the different vowel sound in each word. If you hear the I sound, clap your hands. If you do not hear the I sound, do nothing. Are you ready? Okay, let me give you um, an example. I. Ah. Uh. Very good for not clapping. What about this word here? Bit. Bite. We do nothing. Bit has I. And yes, bite does have an I in it, but this I does not say I. Okay? Let's go over some more words. If you hear an I in the word, clap. If you hear something else, do nothing. Here we go. Set. Sit. Hit. Hat. Thin. Fine. Big. Bake, white, wig. All right, did I trick any of you? If you need to practice this again, please go back and give this another try because I want you to be successful and I want you to be able to hear those sounds and words because if you can hear the sounds and words, that's going to make you a much better reader. Let's take a look now at something that we call blends. We have many rules for our English words. One of those rules is blends. Blends are two or three letters that we say very fast. They almost sound like one word or one sound, but not quite. 
Listen to these words. The blend is at the beginning. Blip. Flag. Glob. Plum. Slid. At the beginning of all of these words, we have a blend. Let's read the just the blends together. Nothing else, just the blends. Bull. Full. Goal. Pull. Soul. So all of these have an L in them at the end. That's why we call them L blends. We put that letter, that sound at the beginning, b, f, g, p, s, and it becomes an, a blend. Bull, full, goal, pull, soul. Okay? Almost sounds like one sound, but not quite. Let's read some more words. I want you to read these words with me. Let's begin. Black, glad, plan, class, flip, slip, clack, slack, cliff, slim, flip. Flag, lap, clap, lick, click, clam, slam, glass, kiss, fix, back, plans, claps. Great job on those. It was very good. Very good to hear you reading those along with me. Let's take a look at this first sentence. I will read it first, and then you repeat me. Okay? I read first the whole thing, then you repeat me. Jim sits in class. Great job. The black flag flaps. The pig flips and flops. Excellent job reading those words with blends. Let's take a look now at some spelling. As you can see in these words, it looks like most of the blends I've left off along with some other letters. Let's spell them now. The first word we have is glad. How would I spell the word glad? G, wow, that was really, wow, that's a really bad G. One second there. G, L, A, D, glad. The next one we have is plan. Plan. P. L. A. N. Great job so far. Let's keep going. Flip. Next one, slip. You got it. L is the missing letter here. Slip. S L I P. This one, blip. Blip. B L I P. Blip. Cliff, 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 
C L I F F Cliff Flag Flag F L A G Flag Clap Clap C L A P Good. Our last one is glass. Glass. G L A S S Glass. Very good. Now, let's read all of these one last time. Glad. Plan. Flip. Slip. Blip. Cliff. Flag. Clap. Glass. Excellent job. Let's keep moving along. Now we have some sight words. Remember that sight words are words in English that we see so much, it's easier for us to just memorize them and to know them on sight. Here are this week's sight words. Come. Can you say those with uh, after me? Come. B. Pull. Good. Let's take a look at some sight word sentences. I will read first, and then you can read after me. I will be back. Can you read that one now? Excellent. Let's try the next one. Can you come here? Great job. Let's try the next one. He had a good hit. Nice work. Last one. I can pull it up. Oh, one second. There we go. Excellent job reading those sight words, my little ones. Now it's uh, the time where we will pull everything together. So we're going to read a story called A Pig for Cliff. Cliff is a tiger who gets a pig, and this pig seems to be quite large. Let's see what happens. Okay, here we are now at the some more sight word sentences that I would like you to try. This first word here is B. Can you say that? B. A turtle can be a fun pet. Come. My bunny will come to eat. Good. A cat is a good pet. That's true. Pull. I pull my dog in a wagon. Now let's take a look at our story about a tiger who rides a motorcycle and his pet. This is called a pet for Cliff. Cliff is glad. Cliff has a new pet. It is slim. 
it is a big black pig. Slim cannot fit in. Come out, Slim. Slam! Cliff cannot sit with Slim. Cliff and Slim slip. Slim can go up. Cliff cannot. Slim can pull Cliff. Slim will be a good pet. Now I want to go back to the beginning of this story, and I want to give you a chance to read this with me. Please give this one a try, because the more you practice reading, the better you will get. Let's read the title together. A Pig for Cliff. Cliff is glad. Cliff has a new pet. It is slim. It is a big black pig. Slim cannot fit in. Come out, Slim! Slam! Cliff cannot sit with Slim. Cliff and Slim slip. Slim can go up. Cliff cannot. Slim can pull Cliff. Slim will be a good pet. Great job reading that story along with me. Let's keep on a moving. Now it's time to grammar up. So today we're going to take a very quick look at four different types of sentences. Declarative, interrogative, exclamatory, and imperative. We're just going to take a quick look at these because these are kind of confusing, but in a later lesson we are going to see questions and sentences and statements. So we kind of need to have a little bit of background knowledge about them. Okay, on this sheet here, we are going to write a D if it is declarative. Declarative is a statement. It means you're just saying something. No question, not excited, nothing like that. It's not a command. It's a statement, okay? We're going to use I am for imperative. Imperative is a command, like sit, go wash your hands, something like that. That's imperative. Interrogative is a question. When you ask an interrogative statement, you are looking for an answer. And exclamatory, it expresses strong feeling probably ends with an exclamation mark, so we'll do E beside those. So in the first one, we'll just do the first six, because I told you it would be a quick look, okay? It says, my teacher is nice. What kind of sentence do you think this is? It's declarative. We're not arguing, we're not excited, we're not asking a question or giving a command. We're just giving a statement. My teacher is nice. I hope your 
we're talking about Mr. Griggs. Number two, is my teacher nice? Now you're looking for an answer. What shall we write here? We're going to write I-N for interrogative. Number three, eat your vegetables. This is a command. Somebody is telling you to eat your vegetables. They're not looking for an answer. They're telling you. Number four, your teacher is nice. You're right. It's exclamatory. We'll write an E there because we're excited. Number five, the squirrels gather hazelnuts. What kind of statement or sentence is that? You're right. It's just declarative. In the next one, number six, the last one we'll do. Do the squirrels gather nuts? You're right. That's a question. Interrogative. Very good on all of those. So like I said, if you cannot remember all of these types of sentences, that's okay. Because we will take another look at statements and sentences or the interrogative statements later in a different lesson. So don't worry too much about it if you don't remember these, but it's good to just be exposed to these. Okay? Nice job. Let's keep moving along here. Oops. All right, my young ones, we are at the end of our lesson. We have one final read before we are all done. So, my first question to you is, have you ever been to a party? What kinds of things did you see and do there? What kinds of foods did you eat? Maybe you'll see some of the same things in this book. Let's read the story now from the Wonders Reading series called Mouse's Moon Party. This book is written by Amy Heffler, and it is illustrated by... Uh, Akemi Gutierrez. I don't know if I pronounced that name right, so forgive me if I did not. Mouse's Moon Party. Now that we have practiced reading quite a bit today, you should probably read along with me. You ready? Yes, you are. Mouse calls his friends. And in the picture, you can see that his friends are cat, rabbit, cow, and dog. Come to my moon party, he says. It will be fun. I will come, cat says. I will bring a cake. Mmm, I love cake. Rabbit can come. I will bring hats, she says. I will bring milk, cow says. Party needs milk. Will we dance? Says dog. Yes, says mouse. It is time for the party. Cat has the cake. 
Rabbit has the hats. Look how cow can pull the milk. Oops, sorry about that. The moon is a yellow ball. See it glow? It is a good moon party. We are glad we came. And that does look like a fun party. We are now at the end of our lesson. I will be right back. All right, I hope you enjoyed that lesson all about pets and parties and reading. I had a good time with you again today. And remember, guys, that you make each day a special day. And you know how. By just your being you, there is no one in the whole world exactly like you. And people can like you exactly as you are. Make sure to be kind to one another, guys. I miss you, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.